hi guys welcome back to healthy tuesday if you're new to my channel i'm nina the simple kenyan girl and let's get into today's topic thank you so much for your feedback actually i read it and i appreciate it a lot today we'll be talking about skincare yeah the flawless skin yeah so why do you need to take care of your skin because it covers it's like an acre it's the most important for your like it's the overall importance in your body and um, why do you need to moisturize hydrate why do you need to do all that it's because it needs to be hydrated even if they say 90 percent of our is it 80 or 90 percent of our body collect it's collected of water but we actually need to do it on the outside with our skin so most of the things that you intake like what you eat is what comes out in your skin like if you have rashes if you have pimples that portrays what you eat and if you notice that they are not they're not going off you need like to change your diet if it's not still working drink hydrate your body drink a lot of water maybe eight glasses as the doctor say he's not stupid saying eight glasses it actually works so either that or if it's still not working see a dermatologist and um, uh, as i did my research uh, i saw like when you get to 25 and you don't take care of your skin when you are mid 16 and 20s like if you don't take care of your skin then when you hit 25 it starts it actually starts aging like it loses the collagen levels that the protein the protein bones muscles and skin in the in there so what do you need to do if like me you don't you are not so open to made masks i i don't trust them i don't know why but i am more of the person who likes to use home products like natural homemade products an example if you don't know your skin your skin type first of all you should know that and i have a little tip for you today according to lazy bonum that's the dermatology of cosmetic medicine and research at the university of miami he has these three tips first you take 10 splashes of lukewarm water on your skin then you dry it like just not like drying it you tap you pat it gently like a kid then you wait for 45 minutes if you feel like your skin is tight and maybe ashy you know your skin is dry and if it's all over shiny you don't feel anything you feel just normal your skin is oily but if you feel like the t-zone like the forehead the nose and the chin is oily but the others are dry you have combined skin that's both dry and both dry and oily but if your skin will be irritated that means your skin is sensitive your skin is not sensitive when you use just a product and it starts itching no that's not skin sensitivity but yeah i hope you learned something today <laughs> um one of my tips if you have dry skin um the go-to masks or scrubs i don't like chemically combined masks i just like the homemade masks one we can do banana yogurt and honey you blend it then you put it all over your face you wait 10 to 15 minutes then you dry it all with lukewarm water okay why lukewarm water why do i insist on lukewarm water because it it enables your blood vessels to constrict like mass it like massages your blood vessels so it enables the blood flow to increase and the pores to open but if you use hot water it dehydrates your skin that's why most people when uh, i had this long time ago that when you when you shower with hot like really hot water you get older fast 
but if you shower with lukewarm water every time your skin is not your blood vessels are able to open your they are able to be massaged properly and that's that's a good thing because no one wants to get older when you're 25 like you don't want to look like 40 of course yeah so two the second i'll give you the scrub tip you can do honey oatmeal you just mix it together and scrub gently gently scrub your face then wash it with lukewarm water um, if you have oily skin this oily skin is a disadvantage because most of it is you get pimples you get acne you get uh, scars if you're not taking care taking proper care of it but if um okay but it's okay you can manage it uh see a dermatologist and you can be able to manage it but i have a tip for you too so you can use an egg without the yolk like just remove the yolk from the egg and then honey then you just mix it together then apply it on your face just like a mask then wait until it dries up then you peel it off then you rinse your skin with lukewarm water then you can still try honey and lemon but these things you just do it once or twice a week uh, at most thrice a week if your skin is so damaged like if your face is so damaged but honey and lemon actually gets rid of acne so you just do a little of it and then you're good to go if you have both combined skin you use white egg honey and a pinch of flour stir it together apply it on your skin for a 10 to 15 minutes and you'll be good to go after you rinse it off with the lukewarm water so why do we need to do all this good question this helps the this helps the to make your skin uh, stronger to protect the internal organs from getting burnt like when it's so hot and you walk out um, in kenya most of us we don't use umbrellas you just walk but here people actually take good care of their skin because they have mud they have umbrellas they can walk under the sun with an umbrella and that's okay that's how to go it's your skin you know how to protect it it's yours at the end of the day you'll get the benefit and they say black don't crack until you smoke it it's true because after you smoke it of course it will damage everything so and another tip if you reduce your sugar levels like your intake of sugar levels it really helps because you won't damage your skin because we don't look at now i told a best friend of mine that when you're eating today it won't result the results won't come out in the next day no they'll come out in the next like two years so i, I hope that will help you and teach you something yeah thank you for watching keep it tuned healthy tuesday I'll be taking you to travel around Perth. Yeah, so keep it tuned. Turn on the notification button. Subscribe and let's see the conversation going on the comment section. See you next time. Bye.